It's Friday, March 8th, 2013. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson, and here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. Nearly 30 students from Opera UTEP will perform in El Paso Opera's presentation of the Barber of Seville, March 14th and 16th. A handful of those same students will do something that has never been done before, perform live opera in the Kingdom of Bhutan. UTEP and its project partners are working to stage a full-scale original production of Handel's Asus and Galatea, set in the context of the remote Himalayan Kingdom's mythological landscape. The opera features a collaboration of globally acclaimed artists, vocalists, UTEP music students and faculty, as well as Bhutanese dancers from Bhutan's Royal Academy of Performing Arts. There will be rehearsals on campus before the group departs to Bhutan for this once-in-a-lifetime October 2013 performance. The U.S. premiere of this opera will be in October 2014 as part of the UTEP Centennial Celebration. The public is invited to attend the opera in Bhutan or sponsor the project. You'll find that information at bhutan.utep.edu. The 18th Poet Laureate of the United States, Philip Levine, will present an upcoming centennial lecture at 5 p.m. Tuesday, March 12th in Room 106 of the Undergraduate Learning Center. Levine's lecture is titled American Labor, Poetry for Whom There Is No Poetry. The public is invited to attend and it's a real treat to have him on campus. During the American Council on Education's 95th meeting in Washington, D.C., UTEP President Diana Natalicio was honored with the 2013 Theodore M. Hesburgh Award for Leadership Excellence. Also for the next year, Dr. Natalicio will serve as board chair of the American Council on Education, the major coordinating body for all the nation's higher education institutions. What it really gives us, uh, or gives me, is an opportunity um, to articulate the role of public universities in the 21st century United States and the tremendous responsibility we have to ensure that we educate the next generation of Americans and they are a very different population than the population that most universities have traditionally educated. Congratulations to Dr. Natalicio. Don't forget construction will close Wiggins Road from the corner of the Herzog building to the edge of the University Library beginning next Friday, March 15th. The sidewalks on both sides of the street will remain open. The project includes enhanced landscaping in front of the University Library and the construction of a circular plaza that will have shade trees, natural stone paths, an elliptical labyrinth, and a narrow tree-lined road. These artist renderings of what the final project is expected to look like are simply beautiful. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!